Meghan's short change. Duchess shows off her legs in a 520 pounds white tuxedo dress as she and Harry meet budding actors dressed as creatures from Middle Earth in New Zealand. Meghan left royal fans in awe in a white tuxedo dress as she returned to her roots and met budding actors dressed up as creatures from the Lord of the Rings. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were greeted by orc soldiers and chatted to a monkey as they took in Wellington's creative talent during the second day of their trip to New Zealand. Earlier in the day, the couple spoke with youth volunteers about mental health at a beachside cafe and braved the rain for a walk through Abel Tasman National Park, before meeting actors at a creative arts center. Meghan, a former actress, gave a nod to her hosts in a 520 pounds, AUD 939-666 US dollars, white tuxedo dress by New Zealand designer Maggie Marilyn as she joined her husband for a visit to Courtney Creative which runs programs for young people looking to get into film. The couple were greeted by two Lord of the Rings Urak High Arc soldiers as they entered a room filled with musicians, actors, prosthetic experts and models. Luke Hawker, dressed as an orc, greeted the pair after hobbling along the ground to introduce himself to the Duke and Duchess, with Prince Harry joking that he had a face for dressing up as a monster. The 37-year-old said, I didn't know if I was supposed to shake their hand but they were standing there. They seemed quite scared. The couple then went on to meet Ruby Acevedo, 12, whose face was covered by prosthetics to make her appear like a monkey. Harry leant in to touch her face and asked Ruby, you can go outside like that? Afterwards, she said, it was an amazing experience. They were really nice and it was just a really nice experience to get to meet them and talk to them. They were everything I expected just really kind. He said, it was such a an honor to have an opportunity like this and be able to play for a royal in your lifetime is special. We talked about my music and wanting to put an album out next year. Megan said I had a great tone. I didn't want to talk at them. They've probably been talking to people all day, day in day out for the latest few days, so I didn't talk a lot. The Orc, or Mr. Hawker, gave Meghan a gold necklace with Paul shell and diamonds made by Village Goldsmith and the couple then posed for pictures with an array of models and monsters. Happy Halloween, Harry quipped before the couple headed back into the Wellington evening. Earlier in the day, Prince Harry has revealed the adorable name he's using for his growing family in a speech at Table Tasman National Park on New Zealand's South Island. Addressing students from under a marquee as heavy rain fell. The Duke of Sussex showed his paternal side as he referred to our little bump. Prince Harry thanked the local Iwi tribe for their welcome and kind words. The weather forecast was a lot worse than this and we are really fortunate to be here. The rain is a blessing and a reminder of our connection to the land, he said. From my wife, myself and our little bump, it's a blessing to be here. Harry and Meghan are continuing their royal tour of New Zealand having met with young mental health advocates working to make a difference in the country. The royal couple held hands as they strolled through the Awil Tasman National Park on Monday afternoon. They wore wet weather jackets for the occasion as the rain fell in the Wilderness Reserve, where they were also talking to conservation staff and inspecting the National Park speech. The Duke and Duchess had been due to attend a beach barbecue and tree planting with local students but the wet weather forced a change of plans. They instead joined the students for brownies and tea under the cover of a marquee at a beachside camp. Under the marquee, a Kalmachua, elder, from the local Iwi, tribe, Barney Thomas spoke in Te Rio Maori, wishing them well with their peppy, baby. Megan smiled as the words were translated for her. The Duchess sat slightly behind the Duke in the front row, though there was no ill intent. The middle represents the god of war and we don't want to put our women into that space. The elder explained, We want to be inclusive, but especially Megan, because she's expecting, we don't want to put her at any risk. It was not the Duchess' first encounter with the Maori language. She won praise after opening a speech on Sunday with the phrase with the words Tina Kautukato, greetings to all. Harry shrugged off the rain as he spoke to the crowd. The weather forecast was a lot worse than this and we are really fortunate to be here. The rain is a blessing and a reminder of our connection to the land. From my wife, myself and our little bump, it's a blessing to be here, he said. We bring you greetings from my grandmother. 